Let's make this retro ghost text effect in Photoshop. Also, if you want to learn how to make all these videos here in these examples and push your skills to the next level, I launched my Patreon page where I uploaded a bunch of these advanced tutorials. If you want to check them out, you can click the link in the description and access Patreon premium content where you can access a bunch of high quality images and tutorials. I'm going to paint the background black, select the type tool, type in whatever you want. And I'm going to press the letter T. You can switch up the color up here. I'm going to go with this purple, click OK. And I'm going to change the font to Faction. Here it is. And I'm going to right click on the text layer, convert a smart object. I'm going to go to the blend mode and change the normal to dissolve. And from here, click on the filter, blur gallery and pad blur. I'm going to bring the arrow all the way to the right and the left side of the arrow all the way to the left. And let's click here to add a dot and we're going to create a curve out of this, a wave more precisely. I'm going to bring this down here like so. And we're going to change the basic blur to a rear sync flash. And now you can see the blur is basically following this wave. And I'm going to increase the speed, some like this. You also can change the taper. I'm going to go with somewhere around 18, 17 and click OK. I'm going to create a new copy of this. Press Ctrl J to duplicate the layer. And I'm going to change the blend mode back to normal. So this way is going to create a simple blur like this. And I'm going to double click on the layer, go to color overlay. And I'm going to go with some yellow or other colors. I'm going to go with this vibrant green. Click OK and click OK. And I'm also going to decrease the opacity a little bit. So I'm around 70-ish. And I'm going to create a new copy. Control J. I'm going to uncheck the blur and every effect in here. I'm going to bring the opacity to maximum. And double click on the layer. And decrease the fill opacity to zero. And I'm going to check the stroke. Actually, you know what? With this yellow actually looks good. I gotta go with this yellow. I'm gonna put it on four and center. Click OK and just reposition it however you like. We also can go to adjustments. Let's go to curves and increase the contrast a little bit more. There you go. Oh wow. This actually looks beautiful now. And there you have it. Thanks for watching. <laughs>